Hi, I'm Anya. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I would like to share with you my recipe for low-carb donuts. We would call them in Polish pączki niskowęglowodanowe. And as you probably know, I am on the low-carb diet and the Fat Thursday is coming next week and I have to have some donuts. I hope you guys are joining me in preparing them. And in case you do, let's have a look at the ingredients so you know what you need. I am starting with my uh, dry ingredients. I'm adding coconut flour to the gluten flour. Then I'm adding my sweetener. I'm using here erythritol. And then I'm adding one teaspoon of xanthan gum and quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to use my whisk to do a good job and combine it all very well. Especially the xanthan gum, I want to make sure that it's uh, incorporated well because this is the thickening agent for our butter, for our dough actually. All right, dry ingredients ready. Let's get the insert for the bread machine and then into a water I'm, I'm adding cream. So I made a creamy milk now. <laughs> All right, then I have a vanilla extract, maple syrup, and this is to feed the yeast. Okay, and the vinegar, which is going to prevent the donuts from soaking too much oil while frying. Okay, now we're going to give it a good stir. And then we're going to add it to the bread machine. I'm using today bread machine because it makes it very easy, but if you would like, you can use a stand mixer. Okay, here we go. Then we're adding melted butter. I'm adding here uh, melted light margarine, actually. I'm trying to make it a little bit lighter. Then we're lightly beating the eggs. Okay, the machine wouldn't do a good job, that's why. Okay, the eggs go in. Now it's time to add the dry ingredients, so our flour mixture okay and the last thing I'm adding is the yeast and this is one tablespoon of yeast so it's pretty a lot <laughs> all right so this is ready to go to a bread machine if you would be using mixer mm, around five minutes you want to make it with the hook attachment I'm using the bread machine dough settings and it's going to take one hour and a half for the dough to be ready now after a few minutes I'm going to have a look how it's reacting like you see it's like this I'm happy with it but if it was too liquidy too sticky I would add a tablespoon of uh, coconut flour just be careful because it dries it out very quickly or melted butter if it was not coming together this is after one hour and a half the dough is ready I uh, weighed it it was 650 grams and right now I'm going to make a tablespoon and check it's around 20 grams so that means we're going to come out with around 30 32 donuts all right this, the math is done now we can go back to cooking <laughs> so I'm going to make uh, divide all those into one tablespoon size donuts well, in case, in my case, actually, I'm going to use half and then the other half I'm freezing. Though I have to admit, I never froze low carb dough before. So I will know on Thursday if it worked or not. And I will let you know. Okay, so this goes into the freezer. Okay, and I'm going to spray my donuts with a little bit of coconut oil so they don't dry out. Here we go. And then I'm going to cover my pan. I have a nice cover. If you wouldn't have a cover, just use a tea towel. Here we go. And we're going to let them rest for around 45 minutes. I have my oil already heated up and it's around an inch deep oil. And when it's heat up I'm going to add the donuts as you can see they nicely bubbling right and we're going to fry them mm, two three minutes on one side they, we want them to be golden brown but more on the brown side than the golden <laughs> and here we go I line my baking uh, tray with the um, paper towel because I want to be ready I'm going to be 
draining their my uh, donuts. We want to get rid of any excess oil we can. Right, we flip them over. Those are actually easier to flip over than the regular donuts because those are a little bit heavier. <laughs> Here we go. Nice and golden brown. It's time to drain them. And off they go on the paper towel. Now, if you are interested, uh, so this recipe makes 32 donuts, which one is 50 calories, 2.5 grams of fat, 2.5 grams of carbs, from which 1.2 is fiber, and then it's 4 grams of protein. Alrighty, when they cool down a little bit, I'm going to put my sweetener, confectioner sweetener in the box, and then I'm going to add my donuts and try to close the box. Well, because if you don't, you will have the <laughs> confectioner sweetener all over your kitchen. And then I'm going to give it a shake. Here we go. Yeah. That's how they look like. Mm, delicious. I wish I had one right now. <laughs> oh, look, I have one. <laughs> I'm giving it a try. And they are crispy on the outside. They are chewy on the inside, just like the regular donuts, but they are a little bit heavier and they are reminding a tiny bit more of the uh, baking powder donuts but you still have the feel of the yeast donuts it's just a tiny bit lighter than the regular donuts but i love them you guys you have to give them a try thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the movie and if you did please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time bye smachnego